Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning, good morning. We welcome everyone again to Everyday Communion with Pastor Raymond. And as always, we encourage everyone, hey, go ahead and get your communion elements on this morning. It's time to take communion, bless God. All right, so this morning, our morning reading will be coming from 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 16. But of course, you know, in this week, we're discussing, you know, how... Everyone has uh, New Year's resolutions and slogans, New Year, New Me, and all these different things, my God. You know, again, thank God for all of that, my Lord. But he's told us the truth is if we don't take the time to get in the Word of God and allow the Word to renew our minds and change our thinking, then we're going to produce uh, more of the same that we produced in previous years, okay? He said, I must renew my mind if I'm going to see the new me, <laughs> my God. If I'm going to see new things and I'm going to see change around me, it begins with the renewing of my mind, all right? And we saw yesterday that this renewing, uh, it's a process, all right? He says, you will be uh, constantly renewed. What is this process? It's a putting off and a putting on. I'm putting off the old way of thinking and I'm putting on the new way of thinking, bless God, according to God's word and according to the kingdom of God. I'm putting that on and I'm getting rid of any 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 stinking thinking or any false doctrines and anything that doesn't line up with God's word. I got to be willing to let that stuff go, my Lord, and put on God's way of doing and being right. All right. And it's a constant ongoing, never-ending process by God. 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 16 says, For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed, hear it, day by day, my Lord. The inward man is renewed, hear it, day by day. Amplified says, our inner self is being progressively renewed day after day, day by day, day after day, all right? So, we all know what our outward man is doing. <laughs> you know, that's the way, you know, the whole revelation about that outward man. You know what's going on with that. You say, I don't know what you're talking about, preacher. This is what you, this is what you do. Go look at your high school picture. <laughs> my God, and then go look at the mirror right there. You can see what your outward man is doing, my God. All right, so, but the inward man, he said, is being progressively renewed day by day, all right? Constantly being renewed day by day, all right? Just like we shared on yesterday, this is this, this, this is the process. Every day you're getting better. Every day you're learning. Every day you're putting off. Every day you're putting on. Every day you're spending time with the Word. Every day you're seeing who you are in Christ Jesus. Every day you're finding out more and more about this, this glorious salvation that you are in. My God, all right? And you are allowing the word to what? Constantly, progressively, day by day, what? Renew your mind and change your thinking, all right? He said we must spend time focusing on the inner man, just like we do with the outer man. We spend a lot of time on that outer man. We go and get a, get the hair done, get the nails done. Uh, haircuts, uh, you're bathing that thing, your perfume, and you're buying best clothes for it. You do a lot for that outer man, my God. But what about your inner man? Are you spending time with your inner man and renewing that day by day and getting stronger and learning and, and learning who you are in Christ Jesus day by day? This is a process and you should be doing it what? Day after day, getting in the word of God and learning more and more about this glorious Christ and this glorious salvation that you are in. Amen. Amen. So it's day by day, not 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 Sunday. My God, day by day, man. Amen. Bless God. Let's go ahead and take your be on this water. Father, we love you. We bless you. Oh, we praise you, Father. We thank you for this another opportunity you've given us to us to come in for your table to commune with you and with one another. For that, we say thank you, Lord. We take the bread right now, Lord Jesus, which represents your body. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for all you've done for us. Everything you did, Lord Jesus, was for us. You was made sin for us, that we might be made the righteous of God. You bore all of our sicknesses, carried all of our diseases. The chastisement for our peace and our complete wholeness was upon you. With and by your stripes, we were healed, therefore we are healed. And we thank you for it, Lord Jesus. We do this in remembering you, in remembrance of you, and we say thank you. We take the bread, we eat all of it. Thank you, Jesus. We take the cup, the cup of the blessing, the blood of Jesus, 
Because of your blood, Lord Jesus, we stand before the Father this morning, holy, blameless, the righteousness of God, without fault, without blame, in love. All of our sins are forgiven, never to be remembered again, never to be brought up again, never to be discussed again. And for that, we say thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your blood. We take the cup of the blessing and we drink all of it. And for that, we say thank you, Jesus. All right, so remember, day by day, every day, spending time with your word, every day spending time with the Lord, and guess what's happening? Your mind is being renewed, and eventually you're changing on the inside, and you're going to eventually start seeing what the things around you change. Amen? Amen. So let's go ahead and get our favorite confession on this morning. The favor of God is in me, on me, and goes before me. The favor of God surrounds me everywhere I go and in everything I do. I expect the favor of God to be in full manifestation in my life on today. The favor of God produces supernatural increase, promotions, restoration, honor, increased assets, greater victories, recognition, preferential treatment, petitions granted, policies changed, and battles won in which I don't have to fight. This is God's set time to favor me. Amen. Amen. Receive that blessed God. Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you. Thank you, Father, for this new day and all you have in store for each and every one of us. I shout grace, grace right now to all that's watching. Father, I thank you that every need of every household is met in full, but for abundance and more than enough. For all those who need healing on today, Father, I thank you that you're the Lord our God that healeth for us. And I thank you, Father, that you have healed them all. I speak peace to every home right now, Father, and I thank you for it, Father, and we give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, God bless you guys. We love you. Thank you for joining us this morning for Everyday Communion, and we pray each, day you, uh, each of you have a great day on today, full of God's favor and God's blessing. Amen? Amen. Love you guys. Have a good one.